Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching and we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel and share with everyone. Hello everybody, how is everyone doing? Today we're gonna go get a massage, a couple's massage. Rita is here with me. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, I don't know if we can show that, but uh, I guess we'll show the area and the building. And stay with us, we're gonna do some cooking today. We got some massive uh, Florida Hassa that we're gonna make. So we'll show you guys that. All right, so see you guys in a little bit. This is West Orange neighborhood, South Orange, Melbourne area. This is what it's looking like. Beautiful Saturday here in uh, New Jersey. So this is some of the uh, this is the neighborhood in uh, South Orange. I believe this is South Orange, New Jersey. On our way to Melbourne to Lucid Spa. First time we're gonna check them out, so I'll give you guys the review and let you know if it's worth it or not. We didn't had a massage in the longest while, professional massage since the pandemic begins. So been almost uh, two years, I would say, right? So I think we're way overdue for one. So let's see if this one is worth it. So this is some more scenery here for uh, Melbourne, New Jersey. We're almost at the place. This is what the neighborhood looked like. Like I said, beautiful fall day here in New Jersey. The weather is in the mid 70s. And a couple more months or a, a couple weeks, I'll say. We gotta start bundle up. Look at this guy over here. He's feeling hot. He's running without his shirt on. Yes, guys, well, once again, this is what it's looking like here in Duncan. Oh, I find this spot now. Lucid Beauty Spa, right here in the middle of uh, Dong Tong, Melbourne. Um, There's a little park over here. There's a little park over here. What is it, like a memorial park or something? I haven't seen the sign yet. There's no sign? Okay. Oh, it's here. Sign is here. Let's see what it is. Taylor Park presented to the township of Melbourne by Mistress John Taylor, May 30th, 1924. Okay, so this was dedicated to Mistress uh, Taylor. Over here is the spa. We gotta get across there. And then I don't think we can record inside, so we'll give you guys a review once we come out. What is this? United Beauty Wine Store. What is this one? get tan right. and what is this one whatever it is okay so here we are here at lucid beauty spa let's get in lucid beauty spa hours hello So this is what the spa bed look like in the area. This is Rita getting ready <laughs> and I'm gonna get ready now. See you guys after. Ready for some uh, relaxing massage? Yes, dear. Yes guys, so this is what the area looks like. We finished the massage. Very good, nice and relaxing. 
Like I said, we're here in uh, Dongtong, uh, Melbourne. We got some people doing uh, outdoor dining. Over there, across the street. We have a parking lot back there if you want to go parking. This is Main Street here. And it's a deli in Melbourne. Yeah, most of the stuff is on renovation on this side. Doing a lot of construction. It looks like they got a construction big cloud here. And what is this under here? It's like a canal run under the building. Yep. What is this store? Halloween decoration is out already. That's gonna be a great video. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so they close off the street here. What is this main street? And they got outdoor dining going on here. We got a lot of restaurants, the guy stops is a BC area. We parked over there. They got a bow tie cinema over there, but it looked like the cinema is closed. Not too much going on there. So this is it get back to our car and we're gonna head back home and do some cooking see you guys in a few so we're here in uh, branch book park taking a drive through on our way home this is what the park looked like in uh, essex county park branch book park not far from our house a few blocks away a very huge park famous park for cherry blossom in the springtime get your picnic over here you can come exercise in the summertime the guys play cricket in another section in another part there's a golf if you like to play golf fish. Fish. yeah I think in that corner over there some people catch fish over there too or you can come feed the ducks This section is where the guys normally play cricket in the summertime uh, on the left side. I guess there's nothing going on right now. Probably the season is over. It's October, early October. So this is another section here, this section where they normally have the cherry blossom in this area. Over here, if you want to play tennis, you can come play tennis over here. So yes guys, this is the cherry blossom section. All these uh, trees here in the springtime. They're all kind of different colors. And here is the list of uh, events that's going on in the autumn here. You have to come back and check it out. Baseball, guys are playing baseball over there. It's a very huge park. I gotta find out how many acres it, it is. And I give you guys the full details. So this is the Florida Hassa. I'm gonna get ready to clean it. I'm not gonna show you guys that. Everyone knows how to clean Hassa. So we're gonna be cooking this today. It's about uh, 10 to 12. It's not that big. 
think we cooked out all the big one already these are a little bit smaller medium size i would say uh, so i'll be cleaning this in a little bit and we'll be cooking that all right so stay tuned i'm gonna be making hassa and rice so here i got the water going for the rice so yes my lovely folks hassa finished cleaning five pound of florida hassa not the biggest one medium size the coco talon big one already um this is the seasoning here that i'm going to use here let's start here we have a uh, turmeric curry powder masala uh, grangira garlic black pepper uh, five spice salt everything is there these are some green uh, fresh seasoning that i picked from the garden this is some uh, cucumber my wife cut up for me here to, while i'm cooking and sipping on my beer i have some of these onion ginger pepper tomatoes uh, okra these are some mangoes um, what is this thing called again lemongrass lemongrass curry leaf and curry leaf and um I'm gonna, we tried this already before this is thai kitchen organic uh, coconut milk this is uh, one of the best so i'm gonna try this one i right, try we're gonna use this one today of course i got the oil and i got my um pink himalayan salt here so let's get started oh and uh, don't forget this uh, tamarind here i'll put some tamarind in the hassa today hassa and rice let's try this thing out see how you walking good cutters good cutters where's my beer you didn't give me any beer man the producer and director said no drinking while driving so So yes guys, the aisle hot, time to put in some onion, pepper, and some uh, ginger, good boy. I'm gonna let this fry up for a little bit, and I'm gonna put in the, the other seasoning. So while this is frying, let me give you guys, after a British Airways flight had reached its cruising altitude, the captain announced, Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. Welcome to flight 293. Non stop from London to Toronto. The weather ahead is good. We shall have a smooth, eventual flight. So sit back, relax. And oh my god! A scream, then silence followed. Some moments later, the captain came back on the intercom. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry if I scared you. While I was talking to you, a flight attendant accidentally spilled a cup of hot coffee in my lap. You shall see the front of my fan. One Irish passenger yells, For Christ's sake, you shall see the back of mine. So I got my seasoning going there. I'm going to put in the hasser, the bunjal. I'm going to trim in the masala here. This is one of uh, Jenna's favorites. You can also, I love the hasa curry. Mm. Looks good, smells good. We got the Thai coconut milk in. Go ahead and mix it up now. So I'm going to let this uh, bunjal here for a little bit. And this uh, coconut milk and uh, all the seasoning. Then I'm going to add some water later on to make some gravy. So guys, this has been boiling here for about uh, 5 minutes or so. Now we're going to go ahead and add some water in to make the gravy. add as much as you want or as little as you want depends on how you like it if you like a lot of gravy like us and you add a lot if you don't like a lot of gravy then you add less 
Just make sure you got enough to make it boil until the end. We're adding in the mango now. So while the hasa is cooking, my wife prepared some polori here. First time she's trying it, so let's see how it comes out. Let's go, let's get this going. Let's see if the oil is hot. Check out the oil, it looks like it's hot. Yeah, you can put some more in. Mm, you got skills, man. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, oh let's God. go. <laughs> my mother does not really make this thing. Let me see. But this is good with mango sour or tamarind sour. Which one you yeah. like? Check out them design. <laughs> you make different design. <laughs> Okay, you make, you make an elephant, <laughs> one beer, one dog, one cat. <laughs> make one man. Let's see. I have to try this thing. You're doing good, you're doing good. You got a toy or not? Mm, it's alright. <laughs> mm, you make a missile to like some of the flowers and so. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it, I'll put more. Okay. Alright, so this is how the polari looking like. Looking good so far. Let's hope it tastes as nice as it looks. It's a fried until golden brown, right? Look brown already? I hope the inside is not raw, so we'll give it a shot and see what happens. So it tastes doing good. What does this one look like? An elephant? Is he getting drunk? <laughs> Man, you make me feel bad now. No, you're doing good. Without a template, you're making our kind of shape here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this looks good. I think it's uh, done. Let's uh, remove it. Then we'll give it a taste and see. Review. We're going to do an honest review. Honest review? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yes, guys, the hasa curry done cook. Rice done cook. And my wife make a whole bunch of cutters eh? I may ask somebody to drink there. He said, no worry. Look, he gave me three different type of drink here. It's a three in one drink. Come all the way from St. Lucia. You can see this. The first one is crystal lime citrus rum. The second one is bounty coconut rum liquor. And the third one is bounty rum or premium white. So I'm gonna know how this thing will work. We never try it, mate. It's sealed. I'll come and see. Where did you get that from? St. Lucia, the last time we went to St. Lucia a few years back, maybe three or four years or so. I mean, right now we're not traveling, so. We normally bring, a, you know, something from every country that we go to. Yeah, but since the pandemic, we didn't really go anywhere besides staying local. Because my wife is scared. Local. Support local. My wife's scared of getting the, um, the swab up her nose. <laughs> she said the man to push the thing too deep and you tickle your brain. But she never get that. All right, so let's open it up. See what the first one look like. I guess, I think we gotta finish the first one. And then there's like a plastic seal here. Then we'll open the second one once we finish that. Then we'll get to the third one, I think. Let's see. I never tried, so let's see. Oh, yeah, I think there's one, yeah. We gotta finish the first half. So let's take a shot. Man, the man made a bottle in, inside of a bottle, right? There's a bottle instead of a bottle and a bottle instead of another bottle. Something like that. <laughs> we'll find out. So what we got here? My wife got her favorites here, plantain chips. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we make a lot of plantain chips. And then of course the polori. My polori sour. and some mango sour. And we got the pepper there. Okay, and this is some um, jalapeno poppers. This one got the uh, butter. Then a jalapeno pepper and we got some, I believe, some cream cheese or regular cheese inside. We didn't get to show that. How we didn't get to show how we make that, but um, that's one of the stuff that she just made. And then I'll show you guys the cucumber earlier. And I'll do the hasa curry later on. After me don't drink because when we, when we eat first and then we can drink. So I'm going to drink, eat some cutters, and then we'll have dinner later on. So cheers. Let's see what is the first one. It's uh, crystal lime. And then we get some more lime too in case that lime not enough. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Cheers, hope cheers. You guys having a, hope you guys enjoy the summer. Welcome to the fall. Alright? Yep. Hmm. It went down mild. Nice. 
What flavor is that? The lime? Lime, citrus. Oh, cit it's a uh, crystal lime. And it's, it's called citrus rum. But it's good. The alcohol volume is 35%. But it's not as uh, strong as uh, tequila, like the lacquer fruit. Carry a mild taste. The other one is the coconut rum, which is 25%. And the other one, the bounty uh, premium white, is 40%. But um, obviously, I can't drink all of this tonight. So when I get to the other one, I'll show you guys. What do you want me to try? Polori or the um, this um, jalapeno poppers? Whatever floats your boat. All right, let's go with the jalapeno poppers first. Let's take a bite and see what it looks like. So cream cheese, peppers, and then of course the butter. This is good. If you guys never had this, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> Alright, so one one down. Let me take another shot since you taste um since you're too strong. Look at my wife holding the camera there. She's getting jealous, she can't taste any. <laughs> Can I try it? No, thank you. Try, try. I'm good. Hungry. I'm gonna have some wine later. Okay. All right. I'm gonna drink out all one shot. Let me save some for some planting. All right. So let's try the polori. What does it look like? Look like on beer sedong. <laughs> see, beer get the legs sedong. He sedong when he butt. All right. Let's see if he cook all the way inside. The wife do a good job. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks, right? Try it out with the mango sour. Doing a good job, man. How come you didn't try this before? I've been missing out on all of this. For how many years? Last 18 years or so? Man, this thing tastes good. I tried everything already. So last night I took Rita to a, a you know a bar or a club, bar and a club. When we went in there, there was a guy dancing on the dance floor, doing all kind of break dance, flipping and everything. And then she whispered in my ears and says, "18 years ago, that guy proposed to her." And I asked what happened. She said, "Oh, I turned him down." Then I whispered to her. Look like he's still celebrating. Cheers. <laughs> oh la la! Cheers. So yes, guys, it's almost twelve in the night. Getting tipsy, me drink out the first bottle of liquor. I gotta work on the matter too. Let me try out my hasa Korean rice. So, hasa ki surwa purata ki roti. Where is the roti? No roti. Okay, rice. I'll be give it a try and see. Okay, this tastes good. Let me open up the hasa there and see what the hasa look like. Hmm, this is good, good. Ball to the bone. Yep, all the way down to the bone. Flesh is loosening off. Oh, man, look at this. I mix it up with some rice. Normally, when I eat them, just so, but um, today I'm gonna try it with some rice and get the full flavor. Eat with your hand, bro. Eat with my hand is good, but today I'm gonna eat with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, excellent. Let's try the mango too. Mango look nice and boiled. Mango and hasa. Good. Nice uh, twisted with the mango. Hasa is good. Some people like Guyana hasa better, but for me, Florida hasa. Top it off. Top it off. Some people like it bigger. I like the big one too, but some of them extra big it might be a little bit hoxier. So that's why we picked the medium. Excellent, excellent. Best dinner ever. 
all right so i'm gonna continue off camera and enjoy this um you guys made it to the end of the video so i guess you guys enjoy it don't enjoy by yourself share it like it make a comment below and subscribe so that way you will know when i post the next video yes so before we close out just a quick shout out to Riza. welcome to the channel i know you guys you just discovered us so welcome welcome hope you uh, continue to watch and you subscribe like and share um shout out to my buddy over there uh, om singh also known as uh, prakash uncle prakash big up to you and your family thank you guys for continue supporting us and um paul deo prasad big up to everyone watching in the usa canada trinidad and tobago guyana and around the world once again thank you guys for supporting us goodbye